saved you. You fell down the stairs and I picked you up and carried you here. I don't know what happened, you tripped on something. Who I am, I am Eric at your service. No, you might not have seen me around the theater or the opera. I try to turn to keep to myself. You are Christina, are you not? Oh, such excellent performances, such beauty travels even down here into the catacombs, my lady. Mm. You remind me so of a woman I once knew. Seems like ages ago now. But what is time more than a thought flying through the air on a warm summer night? There I touch your beautiful face. You still look so wonderful. No. cannot remove the face mask. I had an accident many years ago and I was hurt badly, but that is not a concern of yours. Christina, Christina. soul has been aching for you. My soul, my life, my music, the music of the night. Have you heard it? Yes, it's me playing during the long dark nights. People don't know that I am still here. After all these years, I am the phantom of the opera. That reaction is confusing. Why do you smile and laugh? You never heard of the phantom of the opera before? What year is it? Oh. Oh. 2017. That cannot be. It was just yesterday. It was 1830. I am not lying to you. I am doomed to walk these catacombs forever, searching for my true love. Christina, you. I had you so many years ago, but you disappeared. I lost you that night, but this time I will not. Yes, you cannot move, that is correct. I hold dark secrets, my dear. Secrets not from this world. And right now you are under a spell which will keep you mobilized, but just for now, just until you understand the significance of our romance. Two thousand and 
seventeen. Did you know what happened to me? <laughs> there has been books written about me. Have you not read them? I cannot leave these catacombs. I am bound by the walls of this opera house. I have never seen the outside, not for a hundred years or more. It's just me, my music and my thoughts drifting through the night eternally. does not matter now. What matter is that I have finally found you again. Your soul was lost in between worlds after you passed, waiting for an opportunity to return to a new body, return to me, return to the night of darkness. Can I make you understand? How can I make you see? Do you know what happened to me? I was a successful musician, composer for the opera. Until one day a friend betrayed me, he threw acid in my face, and he left me to die down here in the catacombs. But sometimes death is only the beginning of something else. Do you know that I keep my bones here? Yes. I keep my bones close to be or not to be. That is the question. As long as my bones are not resting in hollowed ground, I can never rest. And even if I could, what rest would it be without you, my dear? Without love, without love, life is empty like a box without anything in it. Life is nothing but a dream, and I am stuck in a never-ending nightmare. What does that matter? Darkness will come for all of us. Because that is the only thing that exists. Darkness. I know that you don't know what to say. Yes, all of this is a little overwhelming, but you will, not, you will soon learn to appreciate my company, my dear. There is only one small thing that needs to be done for us to be together forever, like it was intended. Yes. Small feet indeed. What I mean 
Isn't that pretty obvious, my lady? Isn't that something that even you understand? I am not of this world. I am not evil. I simply do what I must. What do you want to ask me? Yes, my dear. You can ask me anything you want. Anything. Accidents around the opera house lately. Linda, was that her name? When I heard that she was going to take over your role, I could not let that happen because then I would lose you again. Yes, I made a chandelier fall and crush her. But it was all for the good sake and for your sake. For you, I would do anything. Even take lives if I have to. Because in the end, you're the only thing that matters to me now. Yes, I killed the manager. I slit his throat. He was going to fire you for another girl, even after I arranged that little chandelier accident. How could I let that happen? I will not let anything stand in our way, not anymore. And life, what is it? Just a little spark in the night. Just a little spark so easy to suffocate. <laughs> now do you understand what I meant when I said that there is something you need to do for me. For us to be together forever. Uh, I simply need you to cross over to my side of reality. Together we can rule this opera house as man and wife. No. You are telling me no. Why don't you remember, don't you remember me, Eric, the phantom of the opera, don't you remember me the last time you were down here, the last time you were down here and I was so close of getting you, but something came between us. Something. You will be mine. You will be mine. And you will be mine forever. But it's not time yet. There are things, dark rituals that need to be done. I do not want to lose you to the light once you cross over. You will be with me, bound by an invisible chain, forever. But now it is time for you to sleep, my dear. To sleep, to slumber, when I have prepared. Everything that is needed, I will awaken you. I will awaken you, and we will be together forever and ever.